Hey Internet, how's it going? My name is Alakazam and I am here with more D&D December. Uh, there isn't a game today. I beat the arcade game in yesterday's video and today I started to record an Icewind Dale video, but I like died in five minutes with all my characters because I forgot to go get equipment with them because I've never played the game and I'm a dumb. And uh, what ended up happening was I went to reload the game, but I never saved. And I made a bunch of pre-made characters based on people that I know, some of my followers that I know kind of what their tastes are, and even my little brother. But unfortunately, they all died. Every single one of them. There were no survivors. And when I loaded, there was nothing to load. So I went to a new game, and I would have had to make them all over again. Now, <laughs> in Icewind Dale, what that means is going back in and re-rolling characters and it gives you a predetermined amount of points based on rolls that it makes anywhere as low as say 74 points total all the way up to i believe what would it be i think the highest i saw was like 100 or something crazy like that uh now more commonly you're going to get high 70s low 80s i had three characters in the 90s and two in the high 80s it took two hours. I oof, I do not want to do that again. I can't seem to figure out how to get them back. So, uh, going along with what I was talking about in yesterday, I believe it was video, I'm going to try to do something a little different going forward. I'm going to try to do like a short 15 minute, maybe 20 minute gameplay video. And then uh, just a quick follow up for Dean December where it's just me talking about theme of the day. Uh, which reading the the thing that what a person I forget their name hold on I have it right here their signature is not on it well this table which you can find on Twitter uh, goodness I, I can't believe I forgot her name very awesome human being that did this for this entire month and that's super cool and that's why I wanted to follow along with it, it made it really easy for me being like a first timer uh, but anyway, their thing today is Draconic. Now, I, I don't quite know what they're referring to, so I'm kind of assuming they mean favorite color, like dr dragon or Draconic type species, maybe? I guess. It's hard to... That's hard to figure out. Um, in which case, I don't really have one. Uh, my experience in D&D, ironically, even though dragons are in the namesake, I haven't fought any... Well, I've, I've fought some dragons, but I have not fought enough of them to have a preference. I don't know enough about them. I'm not the type of person who goes through and reads every single book and every single page and every single blah, 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 blah. When I play D&D, I just want to be able to sit down, roll some dice, and, you know, have a couple of laughs. I like to have funny stories that, that go along with it. I like to have interesting adventures. And and combat is fun, don't get me wrong. I, I actually am one of the few people who enjoys combat, but I want it to have meaning. And it's hard to craft a story that has enough meaning to warrant a dragon in my opinion or any kind of worm or however you want to say it uh, maybe maybe people think differently than i do uh and i mean going around too there's also like um you play dragonborn characters which are basically like dragon people and they are like like their skin color based on that is the kind of breath weapon they'll have that's pretty cool. I've seen some really neat things uh, that people have done with that, just in general. Um, but nothing, nothing so extraordinary that I want to be like, that's my favorite. Uh, so I, unfortunately, I mean, a lot of this week is stuff like that where I'm like, I, I don't know, like, what is my favorite? Abysmal slash fey. Or celestial slash demonic, like it. You know, wouldn't favorite creature kind of cover all that? I guess I don't know. That's why it's kind of hard to to do things. And then like, there's a bunch of stuff like even in the next thing where it's like talking about a lot of lore based things. So I'm kind of out of luck when it comes to those. Um, so I think what I want to do instead today is talk about some of the favorite loot that I've gotten from dragons because there was a time, and let me tell you the story. So my, one of my DMs I had, they like to celebrate each holiday, like real life holiday, not D&D holiday. And uh, 
at this particular time, it was around Easter, and we had gotten together to play D&D uh, maybe a week before Easter or so. That sounds about right. And he decided that what he wanted to do was make a cave for all of our characters to go into and explore, which was really cool. And at the very end of it, there were like piles and pile, like tons of bunny rabbits and they were surrounded by eggs and we could see that there was some water on the coast as well as several uh like just cavernous walls but like several openings as well i think there's like three openings at the end um one of which we could see led to nothing it was a dead end we could tell just by walking in another one had some gold glinting out from the side uh and the final one clearly had some daylight coming in so we knew how to get out we knew where we had to go but we had these very suspicious bunny rabbits floating around not, well not floating they were they were on the ground they were stationary uh so what ends up happening is we we walked down there and i forget who did it first i want to say we had a fighter a dwarven fighter we totally did and it was totally him he took out his his axe and he just went like whoop boom and he just decapitated a bunny for no reason it was just like eh, i'm curious eh. and he did it and the bunny's head lobbed off to the side next thing you know we're all grouped up looking at this beheaded rabbit like questioning him for why he would do such a thing all of us get targeted by a bunny who starts spraying acid at us like like there's no tomorrow way too much acid for this bunny and it starts trying to kick our asses turns out after we finally defeat this after like hours and hours we we're surrounded by a bunch of normal bunnies in one polymorph uh black worm i'm gonna say black i think black is acid yeah black worm and uh it was it was pretty crazy i i gotta say um so what we ended up doing was we traveled around the cave a little bit more. We found five eggs, but not all of them were black dragon eggs. Some of them were blue. So me and one other guy took a blue egg. It was the fighter. We each took a blue egg, and then I took one of the black dragon eggs. Uh, the other two were either hatched or destroyed or, I don't know, there was, there was something wrong with them. So I didn't bother. Uh, or I just didn't want to carry around a shit ton of eggs. That could have been it too. But the intriguing thing was there was a boat at the uh, at the coast of the water that was in this cave. Um, and written on the side was something in Elven. And my character, once being a sailor, said, Hey, I'll take the boat. I'll try to scan out and see what we can find or whatever. And as I got up to it, uh, I was in the boat. It was in the water. And I asked the DM, hey, how big is this boat? And he said, oh, it's this much. It's probably big enough to carry two people, let's say. And I said, oh, okay, great. And my character then said to the other characters, hey, this boat's big enough to make you know the trip for two of us right away. So who wants to come with me? And as I said big, the boat grew in size. So what he ended up doing was he took a magical item, which is a fold-out boat, and he basically gave it uh, the ability to transform. So it could go from being so small, it was like a Hot Wheels, you could fit it in your pocket, to as large as, I want to say, he, he may have been exaggerating, but I think he said the Titanic. You can make it really big. And it would have, like, a lower deck and rooms and things like that, too. Which is a really cool magic item. And the gimmick was you had to be able to speak Elvin, which I was able to speak, and I happened to be speaking in at the time. Uh, you think was due to the fact that everybody was elven except for the one NPC that was with us that I didn't like. Something like that. I can't remember why I was speaking elven, but I totally was. Or he screwed up the continuity. One or the other. Oops. My alarm's going off. Uh, apologize for that. Uh, basically what ended up happening was I wound up with that awesome boat, and that was like the coolest treasure I ever got from a dragon specifically. It also led us to a big pile of gold later on, and I tried to find a bunch of like weird ways to utilize it. Because oh, as I was saying, the uh, the downfall, like that the 
limitations were speaking elven uh you had to touch the boat and it had to be in water and if as soon as it came out of water it would shrink down to like nothing to like a little hot you know hot wheels size car um one of the more creative ways I, I utilized that was actually we we're in this this little cavern and we were getting swarmed by rats like so many rats it would have been fatal to anybody because they could have eaten away at us they could have had the plague and all this fun stuff so my buddy had a uh a decanter of endless water <laughs> and he's like do it now and or no he, he used i'm sorry that was later on he used his thing uh to create water and he's like do it now and i'm like okay giant and i made this huge fucking boat land and crash down on a shit ton of rats and just murder them all and it was great it was the best feeling ever because like that's all we wanted to do me and this one guy once we realized how big we could make this boat it became our dream to go fight somebody and have them be like oh you guys think you're so great yeah we do boom gigantic and have just smashed some dude and it wasn't dude that we smashed but it was rats and it was the quickest way out of it because none of us had like a fireball none of us had torches or anything cool that would like we could combine with something. Well, we had torches. We didn't have, like, oil to throw at them. <clears throat> I don't know. It was just a really fun and unique item that, uh... It's just a twist off of a real magic item, which I think is a ton of fun to utilize, and I intend to do so myself in several campaigns, which is something I think I'll talk about in the next one. So if you guys want to see more of me talking like this, please comment below. Uh, I promise I'm going to get you guys a gameplay video. I just need more time. And it, it, I just don't have that right now. So tomorrow's video should have, we'll have some gameplay. And if this goes well, I'm going to do another one of these too. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got for you guys for today. So if you like this, comment down below. Um, I guess question of the day, if you understand what they meant by that, by favorite draconic and you have one, great. Tell me about it. If you don't have one of those and you don't know and you just want to answer a question of the day, um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, let's let's stick to our roots here. Let's stick to D and D. Uh, what is your favorite version of D and D, if any? Um, also, what is your least favorite version of D and D? But also, why? Defend yourself on that one. Uh, if you aren't a D&D &D player, which I know a lot of people aren't, I want to know... Least favorite video game console. There you go. Easy easy stuff. Fun, fun stuff. Do all that. We'll get the right thing going tomorrow. And again, I apologize. Just, I, I screwed up. And it ruined the entire recording. Because I don't have time to make six or five to six more characters and i don't have time to do another 20 minutes of recording because it's already almost bedtime for me so i'm so sorry guys i promise i'll make this up to you uh i'm just i'm trying all these new things and it's kind of working so hopefully hopefully we'll fight the good fight and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for your support and uh you know i uh i hope we can keep this going <laughs>